Y'all, uh, what's up, Square Pimp again? On this episode, we have my boy comedian DJ Cypher Sounds, and we discuss lacking confidence, um, if you can learn from good things or bad, and why you can't envy people. That's you gotta right. gotta take the whole package. Plus so, more Will Smith talk, too. A little bit. We can't get rid of it. Nobody's passed it yet. Yeah. So, um, also, don't forget to, to sign up for the Patreon. That's the best way to help if you think that we helped you. And you appreciate what we did. Uh, sign up for the Patreon. Um, yeah, we'd that's, appreciate that. Well, that's where we're doing bonus content. And uh, like, for example, like, you know, we keep doing an extra show after this show. We continue our conversation with Cypher as we talk about uh, old school insults from the streets. Uh, <laughs> believing in how good you are, speaking the truth and a great story about uh, Jay-Z. So all that is the bonus content on Patreon. So patreon.com slash manschool202. Uh, enjoy the show. Alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, yo, what up? GYBV, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. It's a special, special, special episode of fucking Man School 202. I'm feeling hard. We oh, got a Jesus. special guest. What now? Now, let me just Wait, say what? this for this the started, record. This started off weird. Did you say yeah. you're feeling hard? I'm feeling, yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> oh, damn. Is that what the kids of the street are saying? Because I've been using it all wrong. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm 55. I'm just celebrating. Oh, Every okay. Time I, Every time you get hard, you're I'm like, just yell it it's out. It's a celebration. You know what? Oh, yo. So, <laughs> <laughs> so and, kids uh, don't know. It doesn't stay that way forever. <laughs> no, they don't know. They don't, they don't know. know. You gotta appreciate. You gotta have every heart on like it's your last. You I know? get a, I get a good <laughs> like a when I get a world class joint. I call I call my aunts and uncles, everybody. Yo, this nigga's getting it. You gotta do cock a diem. <laughs> all right. Uh, we got you good, Harry. Cause I'm I doing excellent. Yeah. I'm doing excellent, man. It's my on, on on the show today. We got my dude, my motherfucker, in the building back. Back in the days when I was just spitting game, pop, 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 pop. Niggas didn't believe me back then. When niggas remember that, you know what? Give it up for my boy, funny dude, radio personality, fucking comedian extraordinaire, promoter, just regular dude that be putting people together. Jay Z better give you his respect for that junior gong, Jay Z hookup. Yeah. Cypher sounds in the That's building. That's me, baby. Huh? That's me. I hook everybody up except myself. Everybody, you sound like me. You sound like me. I just was saying, I, I taught Pete Davidson everything he knows. I should be fucking Kim Kardashian. But sometimes you just give it away. You give it away because if it comes easy to you, Cypher, you just... You give it away. Yeah, like uh, like Maya Angelou. You'd let the cage bird free or whatever the fuck uh, she said. Yeah, mm. the, Something the about the cage bird comes the back. Gilded, but I think it was a gilded cage. Uh, Something you know, comes back. Something. Mm. Let, it, let, it, let it go. If you want the oh, that's, bird. That's Disney. Oh, that's not it. Let if it you, go is Disney. You want the birds to peck your eyes out. You got to release it. <laughs> so it can come back and fuck you. And then a little dash that says Maya Angelou. My my Angelo underneath underneath the dash. My nah, bro, it's a gift. It's a gift to be able to see things and put them together. Yeah, and then the 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 amnesia that people get, man, it really bugs me, bro. It really bugs me. And then like, I saw something on Instagram today, right before this, right before like twenty minutes ago, and it made me upset. And I'm like, why am I getting upset? And I'm like. Because this always happens that I never get upset. So right. sometimes this shit's going to build up. Right, right, right. But like Will Smith. Like Will Smith, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Sometimes it just builds up. And King bro, Richard, the, King Richard would have wanted this. The king, the king of, <laughs> the king of clean, it king, built up, bro. That shit said pop. But we know that. We know that. That's just like all the super clean comics right they all rapists 
Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, hold oh, on. you can't just say all. I mean, all more... right, watch, watch and see. Watch. <laughs> you can't. You really? watch and see. Watch and see. Damn. Brian Regan is on the oh, fucking Jesus watch. Christ, why are you? Yeah, that is based on nothing. <laughs> that is not accurate in the nah, least. I don't you don't think? Take down a, a man who, I, to my knowledge, has done nothing. I haven't heard no rumors. It ain't like with Cosby. We definitely all heard the Cosby rumors. But I don't think I've ever heard one rumor of Brian Regan. I'm just saying that's how when you when you bottle it up, it's got to come out. Oh, man. No. Yeah, it's got to come out, though. I mean, I don't, know, I don't know not, about Brian Regan. We're not talking about general. Brian Regan. Let's, yeah, let's just get it general. out there. In general. Yeah. In general, when you bottle that shit up or you, gotta you, come out. you don't be who you really are. It'll Can't, come out in a weird. It doesn't last. You could try. Yeah. For Gerard Carmichael said that. Mm. <laughs> what did he say? I, I was lying the whole time. Yeah. I was. I was. I was hip hop. Pop. Pop. My me and my mans and them. Rah rah. We had the rat shit. Bang la bang bang. And then he was like, meantime, I was sucking the Dominican dude's dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got from this special. <laughs> <laughs> you right. think I didn't well, have a biscuit? You think I didn't? I wasn't smacking dudes with the pistol. Did he say it like that? Because I didn't watch it yet. And the It'll whole be real. time I was sucking Dominican dude dick, mm. looking at myself like a liar. <laughs> Wouldn't even eat glizzies in front of people. Bing bong. I couldn't. <laughs> no, ding dong. <laughs> ding dong. Yeah. Ding dong. Ding dong. I wouldn't even eat glizzies at Coney Island. Because I was afraid to see what I could see. That people would go, hey, ain't you the dude? Nah. Living a lie. Living a lie. I said my speech. I didn't even write that. That's why that was off the head. Mm. So I, I believe I just, that. Yeah, no one, no one thinks that was written down. Yeah, you, yeah. No one is under the you, impression that you rehearsed that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you you yeah. sent it out to some friends to make sure it's grammatically correct. Yeah, I, nobody, had that that proof, I had it proof. I had it proofread. I used Grammarly. Nobody, nobody did punch ups on that. Dante. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used. I went through Grammarly. It you don't didn't work. Workshop that. You didn't workshop that. Grammarly. I used Grammarly. <laughs> but. Saif, you're talking about the same thing that Dante's talking about. He had at the same time where like, yeah, you do a lot of favors and people forget that memory is real short. Bro, what I don't know what it is, man. Like I had to just I had to literally just let it go and go. This is the way people are, because when someone does something for me, I try my best to, to always keep them in mind. Yeah. Think about always, it and then pay them back in some way, one way or another. One way right. or another, or be there, yo. To this day, to this day, Funk Master Flex. I would not be who I am without that man giving me so many mm. opportunities in the late '90s, right? Really? He's my mentor, bro. We're not best friends. We don't hang out, do barbecues together. But if he calls me and says, "Sight, yo, I need you to do this." I, what time, Flex? Right. What time? Right. Like. I know I wouldn't be here without him and a lot of other people. And mm. then I'm not I'm not saying him because he actually does look out for me, but some people just get amnesia. Yeah. And bro, when I listen, man, I'm in I'm in my forties now. And I've been through this shit where I'm i I'm watching all this old I've seen people who took credit from me who have some people have committed suicide have gone on into drugs like it's really it really must eat at you when you yes. don't when you're that type of person yes so that's yeah. why i feel good about being like you know i got a clean name in the streets bro right i got a clean name i ain't no thug i ain't no gangster nah me I'm, neither but i'm nah, real what? Me neither. Don't I'm I'm that. real and 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 anytime i got any beef i go and squash it Right away. Right away. What's up? I don't let it linger. I don't let it fester. Go ask someone who got beef with someone for five years. They don't even remember what the initial beef was. That's true. You know what I mean? Yo, I don't fuck with him. Why? I don't remember. Nah, he's funny. He's funny style. He be what funny did he do? <laughs> what did he do? Funny style. Uh, it was some shit. Some shit. <laughs> what? 
I will I, say I, I'm guilty of that and uh, in, in not not the grudge, but I will forget why the fuck I was like what all the details of it. Right. I do go. Yeah, that dude fucked me over somehow. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. how. Harry's yeah. a hating ass dude. I am. I do. <laughs> I do hate him. I do be hating motherfuckers. How's your pantry? Pa- oh, the pantry? Pantry's yeah. built. Yeah, the last time we talked about the pantry. It took nah, me I heard like it on, I heard it on the podcast. Yeah, it took me. She loves the pantry. She can't <laughs> stop raving about the pantry. Every pantry. time she every time she opens that pantry, she thanks me for building that pantry. Now, did she make my life a little bit of a, a hellacious situation for about a week and a half when she yep. freaked out? Right. About the pantry or because we didn't go out during <laughs> did Christmas? Did she time? give you butt sex? After oh, I, was, the pan- I was always getting. I can get oh, that anytime right, I want. Well, yeah. Not even without without a pantry. Oh, without the pantry. Yeah, I could do it. I, I didn't build the pantry. This is not based on a it's quid pro a, quo it's situation. Not a- <laughs> yeah. it's not, I didn't build this pantry as a way to get so butt pro quo. Yeah, no butt pro quo. <laughs> Man, you you sharp with the innuendos and the, I love it. The play on words. That's two. That's I'd back be to rolling back. them out. Ding dong. Rolling them ding out. dong. <laughs> He's in that mind frame. He's in the zone. Punch it up. I love it. Punch it up, baby. Yeah, the pantry man. You know she loves it, and it took me a little bit to build it, but you know I did it. Right, I did it. But I had to be like, this is why we don't go out. I got to build this pantry. It can't go out. Can't go out. She wanted both. Want. That's the problem. I don't mind building the pantry. You want some... a place to put your cereal? Right. Or you want to go outside? You want to just yeah. have your cereal next to the sink? Yeah. yeah. On the floor? You want everything on the, on the floor? floor? You want to... <laughs> You want mealworms in your cereal? Or yeah. you want to make up your mind? We could either we could either watch Bridget Jones's diary, <laughs> or I could build this pantry. So I build the fuck out of that pantry. But she is. A, extremely grateful that's the thing that i do uh, love about here her we for go sure. how are you talking grateful. about how great is she's great is. here's the problem because Shut up. <laughs> no no because i want to be fair and realistic i only bring the bad shit because that's all you can learn from is the bad shit i'm not going to give you all the good stuff that right. doesn't help nobody that let helps me, let nobody me think about let me think about that can you learn from the good shit Most yeah i think no yeah you no, can no <sighs> There are things oh. you can learn for them. From, Here's the good from, shit. But, yeah, what's the if good the shit? If the good shit comes out of the result of the SmackDown, mm-hmm. you can learn from it. It's not really learning from it. It's it's the it's the after effect. It's well, proof. It's, it's, it's a confirmation. A it's yeah. a confirmation. Yeah, it's confirmation. Confirmation. And we always want yeah. a little confirmation. Yeah. Be like, oh, what you? Oh, you still want to mess? But that with shit. Me? But that's long term, though. Like mm. th- those results yeah. come later. You, it takes a while to. You know I mean, yeah. Well, anything real, anything real takes time. This is yeah. why you have so much liars. This is why. This is why Will Smith is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he is not legend. <laughs> 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 this he went up. To, he he was just playing Mike Lowry. He smacked I mean, the nigga a like actor. He's he, a good actor. He smacked the nigga like Mike Lowry. I say this all the time. Mm. What if it was Tony Rock? Mm. <laughs> yeah. They would have been rolling on the and he smacked Tony. First of all, smug, Tony got a knuckle game. To, Tony might have dipped and boop boop hit him with a two piece, uh, his- which how crazy would have been that? Will Smith would have had to just go and hide. He had to, he would have to, if he got dipped on and get hot, got hit with the hot two piece, boop, boop, turn it over. You got it. Mm. You can't play Mike Lowry after that. Mm-hmm. You can't be Mike Lowry. You got slipped and then dipped. Nah, he's going to be fine. Who, Will Smith? Yeah, yeah, Will Smith will be fine. His career will be fine. He's still going to be a big star. Look, let's be honest. Mel Gibson is fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's not He's not eating no frills cereal. No, it's fine. <laughs> he he's got an pan- Apple Jacks TM. He got a pantry. He got, his cereal is not on the side of the sink. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> Mel Gibson, they Jew-hating fucking racial scumbag. He's fine. Mm. Yeah, he's fine. So yeah. Mel get so Chris, yeah, Will Smith will be fine. He'll fine. be but that fine. that that incident. What I love about that incident, it shows you everything you need to uh, know about show business 
is that he slaps Chris Rock and then a group of people come over there and go, hey, Will, is your hand all right? Is everything OK? <laughs> they console Will Smith. Just... He smacked the guy, assaulted somebody. But because he's a bigger star. No, nah, I'm sure I'm positive people console Chris backstage. Yeah, That's the problem. Though. It that. was backstage. You couldn't see it. Yeah. After that smack, all I heard was, everybody hates Chris. I heard that in the background. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Uh, Can't be a liar, though. Can't be a liar. Let me say this about Syph. Syph is my nigga, for Mm. real. Thank you, man. Uh, My, yo... (laughs) But uh, but to be my nigga, you I gotta you gotta be a good nigga. Like Saif reflects your cool shit back. Do you know what I mean? Like he he don't forget. He don't forget. Anytime Saif has a problem and he call me, I pick up the phone. Yep. What's what's up? <laughs> what's and it f- don't be big problems. It could be it nah, just be it, something I need to work through with Dante. What you can't work in it. You gotta work it through. You gotta reflect it. Uh, yo, am I bothering you? No? Okay, give me five minutes. Why does this happen? Why does that happen? Now, always, man. Only thing I'm mad about is usually like an hour, and then I'm into talking to Cypher, and then he got to go. Bro, I, oh, you know what it is? <laughs> now that Cause, I live... Because he's more famous than me. Nah, it's only because I call... <laughs> I on try the to way, make my calls in the car. On the way, right? I know. I so know. Like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm you three want minutes from my want destination. You lady to go. Why are you sitting in the driveway <laughs> for an hour? <laughs> <laughs> but yo, this, but, I, I'm a fan of the show, guys. First of all, yeah. I, I see Harry all the time. Yeah, and, I love the comedy inside. seller. I'm a fan of the show. Um, who'd you have on the one I list the pantry one who was that Derek Gaines I don't even remember Steve Gaines Steve oh Gaines. Derek Gaines yeah I listened to Derek no but it wasn't that one it was another guy it's come up a couple times <laughs> who's the it guy? took me a while to build a pantry so <laughs> who's the guy that was real squirmish does he is he working oh New Gabe York? Gabe the owner of one of the owners of Gabe Gabe is he own stand up New York yeah yeah he's he's part of the guy? yeah yeah, oh, yeah. I, don't, I never met him he yeah, was a mess he's a good dude though yeah, but both of those woo. things can be true, Dante. He yeah, is a good is dude. A yeah, he oh, is also a mess. Yeah, and I love yeah. Gabe. I'll tell him that he knows. Gabe, Gabe, like so, 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 sometimes I was talking to a girl, right? And then, and then I went out <laughs> to the day, and then uh, I was trying, she wanted to do a doggy style, right? But I couldn't get it in from the back. So I was like, uh, I don't know. I should call Dante, right? And find out how I could get it in. <laughs> That's the type of phone calls Dante gets. It's either sight for people asking him how to get this, how do I get my dick inside? My, yeah, thing, my thing with Dante is my shit with Dante lately, and, and this is happened sort of in the pandemic when I started asking him real for real advice. I have a problem with my confidence. Yes. I have a problem with my confidence, which is so weird because I know internally I'm a confident person. I have years of receipts. Right. Years of receipts of uh, uh, accomplishing all of my goals. Right. Right. Where you at right now, Saif? Where you at right now? I don't know if I'm you're allowed Denver. to say. Uh-huh. I'm in Denver, Colorado. Why are you in Denver, Colorado? I'm, I'm, I'm doing a show. Uh, I'm doing oh, a big a show. show. Okay. I'm doing a big show at all three days at Comedy Works in Denver. And then following me is a guy named Dave Chappelle. Yeah, oh, following so, him. Right. Yeah. A new yeah. Jack. A new Jack. I don't, <laughs> say, I don't say opening anymore. Uh. <laughs> I don't say opening for. I, don't, I hate when people go on Instagram like, hey, I'm on the road opening for so-and-so. Like, no, uh. you're doing a show with. With, yeah, yeah. Because right. nobody, well, you, people don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah, they yeah, don't. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you play in yourself. That means yeah. your own mindset. You're smaller than somebody else. That's you, like when somebody says, yo, when I did the garden, you didn't do the garden, dog. <laughs> Billy Burr did the garden. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you still did the garden, though. Bro, I did the garden at least six times in my life. That's killer. That's Never crazy. was the headliner. Yeah. Never was the headline. Yeah, but you don't be saying, yo, when I did the garden. Like, no, when no. you say, yo, well, that time when yeah, I did yeah, the yeah, garden, yeah, yeah. you don't do that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I say I've been lucky mm. enough to do the garden with people that I fuck with. Yeah. yeah. But my point of bringing that up was you're, you're a guy suffering you know, issues of confidence, and yet you're doing these amazing things, which you know you've done. And you know you're continuing. To okay, do. so what's the problem? Right. You what don't believe the- it. I told you what it is. You 
don't believe you as fly no. as you are. Maybe. No, okay. No, not, okay. Here's. It's not here, maybe. This is, what, this is what we talk about on Man School, right? Right, right. I'm in Dallas last weekend with Mo Ammer. Right. Um, oh, and yeah. we, me and great a bunch dude. of comics. Oh, great dude. I love Mo Ammer. Yeah. Me and a bunch of comics. And Mo, after the show, you know, we telling road stories and at the diner talking shit. And like they all got stories of girls coming up to them after the show. Right. And that never happens to me. And I always question why. What? That's what? not That's, true. Okay. That's not true, son. Okay, Dante, have you seen this? Here we go, Dante. Here's, Here the, we go. Pro- here's the pro- just because you don't can't. Look, if you're not a deer hunter... You don't know the signs. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you a deer hunter, you were like, "Yo, what's this scratchy shit on the, on the, <laughs> on the buck?" <laughs> now a deer hunter goes, "Oh, that's the buck rub." Mm. What? Uh-huh. Well, when everybody I hate that knows you know what buck rub is, <laughs> you don't like that. I, like, I know buck rub. And I had to, I had to figure out via context clues. <laughs> Dude, anyway. when the buck is at uh, his prime mating. He grows the velvet. His, his horns get big. He, there's a velvet that grows on the buck. He got to rub that off. So when the new young buck comes, he got to he got to he got to juke him. He got to buck fifty the new the new buck. He got to buck fifty the new buck. Uh huh. So he got to be ready. He's getting ready. So you going? Oh, there's no deer here, son. You don't see you. It's right there. It, Son, it's right. It's right there. The the buck rub. I don't get it. You don't read it. You don't. Here's. A, I'll, I'll give you an example. And you've been around me when when this happens. I do a show. I rip. Little white girl come up to me. Say, "Oh my God, you was so funny. It, it was so. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. What's your name? Da 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 da. We shake hands. Right now." When she goes, that one thing you said, when you. <laughs> That's it? Bitch, you trying to give me some pussy. <laughs> you trying to give me some pussy. Okay, so look. Let, okay, all right. How about this? I'm at, I'm at, let's say I'm at the comedy cellar. I'm at the Village Underground. Right, right. I'm, it's probably my fault. I'm probably standing in the wrong place now. That I'm, I hate saying it out loud. Then you <laughs> realize, now you see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing Good. by the door. The, all the people are leaving. So there's like a line to the exit. Somebody will say something like that. But they're in a line, so they just keep moving. What am I supposed to do? Grab them? Move with them? Yo, um, I want to talk to you a minute. So, I want to meet I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna come talk to you. I'm gonna come talk to you outside real quick. Yeah, bang. Ooh, she goes. Mm. And the fu- the friends though, man, the friends. son. That's better. You be nice to the friends. I hate nice, friends. but I hate that shit when they like look away or they start pulling. I don't. Di- okay, let me ask you. Here's this thing. If how creepy is it? It's a bunch of girls. And and they're standing around and and a dude goes, Yo, what's your name? Right? And he just stare at one chick. <laughs> yep. He's zoned in, mm. right? That's creepy, right? Yep. Unless she wants to hear it. If she wanna hear it, then not only is it creepy, her girl's gonna be like, Yo, he was locked <laughs> in on you. <laughs> Woo. I don't even yo. What? Just tell me where you tell me. Text me when you get there. Send me an address. That's because you locked in. So the same way it's creepy is the same way it's dope when it, when you when it's not rejected. Everybody knows creepy is creepy when somebody don't like it. Right. It's the same move. It's, it's literally the, the same move. It's, it's the perception. <laughs> so if I know that me, there's nothing about me that looks platonic. I I'm look I look, I look like yo if you fucking around flirt, I'm, you some you fucking no my, right my face is platonic. I get it and we talked about that we'll get <laughs> to that face. but for me it's I don't have a platonic nothing mm. I don't even have slippers 
that look platonic. My slippers look. <laughs> they are aggressive. They do be aggressive. <laughs> so if you. How do you get a rhino horn on a slipper <laughs> on, a, on a slide? I don't even know you could do that. But if you know the right people, you could get a white rhino horn. It's the buck rub. It's the <laughs> buck rub. <laughs> so if a chick says to me, oh, my God, you're so funny. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, when you said that one thing, I almost. Ah, my... She's interested. Gotcha. You're interested. Okay. Because I'm not safe. I mean, I'm safe because I'm not a fucking, I'm not Brian Regan. Right. Oh, Jesus. Stop, <laughs> stop doing that. Poor Brian Regan. There's no, there's literally, I've never oh. heard one rumor. No, it's uh, his brother. His brother's a creep. Really? Oh, I don't know. That, <laughs> Dennis, Dennis Regan? We're going to take Dennis it down to Regan Brothers? Dennis Regan's a take creep. Take it down to Regan Brothers. It's the Rocks and the Smiths. And the Regan Brothers. The Nero and you fucking know, the and Regan Brothers. You know who else? You know who else are brothers? The Weinsteins. I mean, it all adds they, up. Out there, the who has a brother? Brothers. Harvey Weinstein had a brother. See? Start it out there. Is it coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so... So if you if you re up and you're still engaging in this conversation, I have given you I've I've thanked you, I've let you know that I appreciate you. If you go back in, you're engaging in this communication mm -hmm. from a dude who clearly has uh, non -pl platonic slippers. Right. You you you. <laughs> I've done that. Harry was been we we talked about that last sure. time. How I've been where I'm trying to like I'm telling the chick run. Yeah, <laughs> run. You're giving her ample time to get away. <laughs> look, you, little young girl, please. I'm gonna destroy your life. Run. Dante is like uh, when young girls come around. He's like Bruce Banner. He's like, listen. <laughs> You need to get away. <laughs> you don't don't like me, me when angry. I'm horny. Don't make me horny. <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm horny. <laughs> and then she's decimated, and I turn around with my backpack, and I go, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You boom, just hike boom, down the road boom, boom. <laughs> to a new town. I go and hick. I, uh, so, oh, the, okay, I know, I know what, a, a point that I forgot to tell you. So I see a lot of dudes get instagram messages dms and all that i get zero right zero bro yeah, zero. all right you... i'll tell you i'll tell you this this goes back to exactly what dante says right you're getting them but here's the thing women don't want to make the first move ever so my girl i don't know if i've ever talked about this once I, you did hit, once hit me up on the dm the way i met my girl is through the dms she hit him up on the from, dl <laughs> DL, <laughs> not on the DL. <laughs> not your art car, Michael. Come on now, the DMs. <laughs> just one letter off. Just one letter off. It makes one a huge letter. difference. No, one a letter. Huge difference, man. <laughs> on one letter DL. and two dicks. <laughs> <laughs> so she hit me up on Instagram. That's how I met my girl, right? Yeah. But. She didn't hit me up and go, hey, you funny as hell. Let me suck that dick. Yeah. Right. He was just like, hey, hello. You want some of this nappy dugout? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, like, get down I will here. gladly, I will gladly show you my DMs. It is a bunch of rappers sending me just a link. Demo. Just a link. <laughs> it don't even say, hey, my name is so-and-so. Just a I'm link. A, just uh, a link. Uh, oh, there's a bunch uh, of letters. <laughs> uh, take um, that. Yeah. But Stand but, up. Maybe I don't know. She, now, how did you? How did she find your Instagram? Through the podcast, so she just followed me. She oh, okay, okay. Through Not the after podcast, show. which she learned. No, through a different podcast, through whatever. Somehow she found the podcast, and then just it was very casual, right? Right. And it was just a very casual conversation to the point where she still brings up to me to this day. You did, like, you played me like Harry. Just get, she thinks her version of it is that she put it on a silver platter, and I gave her the Heisman. <laughs> basically what what happened was she goes oh this is so funny when you said this and this on the show and i wrote back oh that's crazy i don't even remember saying that or whatever and like, moving on moving on just kind of like interacting right and she's like i took that as translated not trans interested translated you want some of this pussy but she thinks she said that <laughs> she thinks she said here come get it now that's, that's a it, woman's yeah. version of putting it she she said the phrase silver platter i go you did not put it on the silver platter what you yeah. did was you gave me directions to the supermarket 
right. and said, there's, you know, you could go there, see what happens over there. You didn't bring it to me on a silver platter. <laughs> nah. I still had to do all the work. All yeah. she did was send you a recipe for right. nachos. Right. <laughs> and it, But in her world, as a woman, she yeah. goes, I laid it out there for you. Mm. And I was like, that is not what happened. That's not what happened. Now, not at all. both of those things are true from our different perspectives. For her as a woman who is used to getting hit on not, all not, the time. And not used to put being rejected at all. Not used to being rejected. Or putting herself, especially if she's a cutie, you don't, right. I'm not, I would never hit on a man. I mean, that's yeah. just. She took that to be me not being interested. Right. Initially. So it's like there's these they they rarely do you get just a straight up like, hey, I want to fuck you situation on, right. you know, I, I wouldn't even want that. And yeah. that's the weird part, too, is kind of you get a little thrown off. Yeah. By that. Nah, I don't, I'm not ever thrown off by that. Well, <laughs> nah, that's a setup. That sounds like a setup to me. That's how I feel about it. I go, I I, I, I see Dateline. I Listen, know how this works. Let me tell you, if the chick is over 43, mm -hmm. oh, that's different. when the TikTok. TikTok yeah, tick tock time's up. Yeah, yeah. That's she different. Like, so yeah. when you gonna stop? I remember I was flirting with this older lady just like like on my job and like she was hideous. And I was like, uh oh, but you there you go with your sexy ah, da, da, da. and then out of the blue she goes, So you talking all that shit, when you gonna give me that dick? I was like, Whoa, bitch, hold on. <laughs> You're like, hey, this is a workplace. <laughs> this these 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 calls are recorded for quality assurance. So <laughs> <laughs> that's they get older, they get a little more bolder. But I don't get anybody in my DM. Nobody in the DM. If I do, it's like it's so light and lively. I it, wanna, in order to make myself feel better, instead of feeling like a a, a unwanted piece of shit. <laughs> God, Jesus. It, my name. It, my people don't understand when I say my name on stage. If they don't know me from my previous famous life, right? Yeah, they don't know what I'm saying. Cipher sounds is a weird word, a weird term, right? And that's I'm gonna stick with that. So I'm making a sign. I'm gonna have my Instagram on there, <laughs> and if my DMs don't fill up, I'm gonna use that sign to hang myself. Oh Jesus! <laughs> don't. Don't do that, son. Nah, you you know, got to know how to read it. You got to know how to like. I don't get no DMs. I don't. If I get a DM, it's it's straight spread open so, pussy. Oh, <laughs> stretching it open. Just I don't. I don't get. You know what I mean? It's not subtle. If I get a DM, it's not subtle. So, right. but I would. But girls, because I'm a little. You know, I don't know why, but they would see me as a little more intimidating. So they give these little hints, and then I just close the gap. Because you put it out there, though. No, I don't put it out. I'm just. Straight. I didn't put it out there. I don't. Your show is a put out. Your show is put out. Yeah. You guys have a true. show. Hmm. Okay, you, that's the, interesting. Yeah. The yeah. thing is, you're right, because you do come off as a nice guy, even though you're a dirtbag. <laughs> no, I'm in the. I'm in the. I'm in the middle. I'm like a nice bag. You got <laughs> nice bag. <laughs> I'm a nice bag. <laughs> you know, Cypher is a vacuum bag. <laughs> oh, but like I've told, like like Harry, you don't know. I, I called Dante. Like, let me tell you something. Sure. My 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 problem that I've been talking to him about is all oh, is cold approach or immediate interaction. Yeah. Yeah. I know of my catchness and I'm not cocky. I just right, am right. very I'm very aware when I do get in like if I if I meet a girl at a uh, some kind of friend gathering or something and a girl doesn't know who I am and we're talking for a little while, I see when they turn and they're like, "Whoa, this guy is interesting it's, and right. smart and sure, funny yeah. and Right. And has money and 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 works hard and da 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 all yeah. this shit. I see it. Right. So, in that instance, I, my, I told Dante for men like I've had girls fall in love with me for years. Like I've turned strippers into like they quit stripping. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it, I need so, to learn how to do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, this is fucking bad. <laughs> so, and this is back in the day, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still to uh, me knowing all of that. I still don't have that cold approach. So you you want 
you want like Albie Shaw type, <laughs> like nineties Albie Shaw, like. You want them throwing you want panties the, the on album you. Coat. you, like, you nah, want... man, it's not. I'm not even. It's not even about the pussy anymore. I don't even want it. I just want to know why I personally have this block. You can't of... look. You can't be. So, for instance, here's my thing. You can't cherry pick nobody's life. Like you can't take portions of people, other people's lives, and then just be that like you understand that your value is all of the things that make you who you are yeah and some of those things are how nice you are how kind you are how how uh, how unassuming you are about what you about what you've achieved and your modesty in that <laughs> whereas you know, Artie would be like, oh, what's up? Uh, you want some titties? I'll buy you some titties. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they, <laughs> That's another way to do it. That's another you know way what to mean? do it. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's Artie but, but do you really want to be jumping around like that? All You know, you 50 and you bouncing around like, you know, like a no. jumping beat. Like, you, you got to you gotta be who you are. There's elements of what what your what your personality is that you can enhance and what you have to do is really you have to really understand when they're flirting that because of who you are because they feel safe because they they have to recognize because on the surface there's you know still waters run deep they have to see more so you just got to give them more and what happens is when you start to really understand like when you start to get the success from just accepting who you are then what happens is that attractiveness becomes outward because you believe it see you like the bottom line at the at the core of it is that you all you know on paper what it is but you don't really believe it because you Me, i don't believe myself you believe how dope you are but you don't believe how dope you are in the sense of like where you like if if she's bad and you, you going why you don't like me whereas if she's bad and and she don't like me i'm like oh this goofy bitch is dumb yeah like you don't get <laughs> that's you don't my get feeling how, on it oh you're stupid <laughs> right uh, you don't you you don't really see what's happening here like you understand how much your life is going to be better from knowing me like I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna make you feel things that you never gonna feel. You're gonna go places you never gonna go. You're gonna learn things you never learn. Like and you and you think because you're cute and you got a fat ass that you're dope. You're doper than me because which I'm gonna watch you get older year by year and lose <laughs> your value exponentially every year and i'm gonna watch you go from this cocky chick with no who's who's cute who's done nothing to be who you i mean we're not even talking about a chick who works out to be hot you just you you're hot because you're youthful yeah and as you get older you're falling apart every day the plastic on the on your glove box falls off the wood grains <laughs> chipping every day but you think it's all dope and because you haven't worked on anything. You're not even a chick that works out to be hot. Right. And I'm they get it, right? They get it a little more. Right. And then it falls apart. And before you know it, then you 43 and you like, you want some of this pussy or what? Like, like then <laughs> in the DMs. <laughs> copy paste, copy that paste. That same chick is copy the one paste. that was the hot fight. She was the she was the hot girl, Summer. That was the same bitch. So it's like I I know how it turns out. You know how it turns, but you don't believe it because you don't have visible visible proof that you that you 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 don't believe as dope that you're as dope as you are. That's, you believe that's, it, that's, but you don't believe it. That's fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah, it well, ain't pleasant. You, you Part gotta, of it, though, is that you're in the world of show business, so what happens is sometimes you got a lot of compare. No matter what you do, there's always comparisons to other things and other people yeah. that are doing more. 
than you're lot, doing. A lot of times I say this. I say this to Nate all the time. Uh, Macintosh. Nate Macintosh. I say, dog, you always looking up at whatever. I said, you never look down to see how far you've come. Mm. You always bitching about because you're looking up. And I go, and, and, and you don't realize how high off the ground you are already. I was like, you do this comedy thing. You love doing it. You're good at it. People respect you for what you do. They respect you for your art. Your peers respect you. You make money from it. You're not punching a clock and, and putting numbers in a column yeah. and writing an extra. But I said, but you, you want this other thing that you may not be really, really willing to give up. You know, I, I like I was talking to Keith Robinson. All right, ah, so <laughs> he, you know, Keith Robinson. I was like Keith. You know, like this is funny about the, you know, the whole, you know, the whole Ti thing that went down, right? Yeah. Got, best compliment I got was from him. Was like you're the only one that represented comedy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that spoke up. You, you was, you was who you was, and from a dude like Keith, that's a man. That's a that's a compliment. Yeah, hundred percent. That dude has has been instrumental in multiple people's careers. The whole Philly crew. Yeah. Here because of Darnell, uh, Reggie Conquest, Tommy Cassidy, all of those dudes. Um, Monroe Martin, Chloe, Zainab, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Marina, Amy Schumer, Kevin Hart, w w Wanda Sykes, D like, you know what I'm saying? Like extensive motherfuckers that he's given wisdom to who mm -hmm. in a sense is like what you're talking about, doesn't have the fame that he should have for all that he's done for everybody else, but everybody respects him. And everybody fucks with him, and every every time somebody they include him in, this nigga was got a movie part with the on the second stroke. Like nigga, you just limp in here. We gonna give you a check. We just need you to limp in here and go. Rah, what make movie that. was that? It. What was he in? What was the last? He played a security guard or something like I think in Amy's movies. Oh, one okay. Amy's movie, but. I mean, you know, so I think you gotta. But so, but like for that, for that example, let's you were talking about Nate, right? The Macintosh, he's seeing a lot of people, and this happens to me too. That's why I can speak on it. He's seeing a lot of people that he came up with that were on his level that he might even be funnier than. Oh, he's funnier than them. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. And they start whoosh, whoosh, passing. Okay. That shit fucks with your mental. Yes, it I does. get it. But here's the thing. You can't cherry pick somebody's life. You talking about the other people that's passive. Here's my thing. Do you want to be you want to be Will Smith where a bitch could give you a look and <laughs> you will you will risk <laughs> going to a Manchurian and, candidate and so <laughs> you want, even with the dog even with the 400 million. You want to be that dude? I don't want to be that dude. No. You gotta, you gotta, uh, uh, what you call it? What's the, the pool where it has no edge? The invisible pool. The infinity pool. Infinity pool. Even you, if you sitting in your infinity pool crying because your wife don't love you, <laughs> is does the water feel good? You no, you probably worse off because you going. I got a fucking, I got an Olympic size infinity <laughs> pool i don't even know if that exists what's a, somebody got it somebody got somebody it. got it if anybody got it will can have it yeah definitely but you but you can't tell the but your wife's fucking your son's friends while you're hanging in the, the infinity pool you can't <laughs> you can't invite people you can't over tell hey listen to the you can't. listen to the quality of this stereo system it's amazing <laughs> you it drowns out up. the noise of yeah, my crack. wife in the other room <laughs> It's perfect. Uh, what was Let's that? say your wife what is fucking that? one of your son's friends, right? And you want to watch Gladiator. <laughs> Check you, this out. <laughs> you in the infinity pool, you can't tell the difference between chlorine and tears. <laughs> did they did they did they mess up the pH? 
balance on the infinity pool or did am is I it, crying? Oh, because is, your, is your infinity pool a saltwater pool? <laughs> no, I just been crying a lot. I just been crying. It is now. I've been, I've been crying in my Dolce Gabbana <laughs> trunks. Just cr- <laughs> you don't want to be that dude. Right. Okay, fine, but like, like that, like, like I said, like I'm happy. Bro, let me tell you something about me and everybody listening. Say that again. Say that again. I'm happy. Okay. How I'm, many how many niggas you know say that and mean it? Just mean it? I, not mean a lot. it. Not a lot. They say it. They, they do it. they mean it. They don't mean it. And I could tell. I could tell. You could tell. I I if my I always say this, if my career just stayed the way it was for the rest of my life, I'm I would be happy. Right. I have everything I want. Of course, every day I, st- I like working hard because I like the journey. I right. really do enjoy the journey. Right. All this shit I do. Yo, Chappelle hasn't Chappelle hasn't called me to do a date in a while. Every time he comes to New York, I rock with him. But he used to call me to go on the road. Let me point something out. Chappelle has never called me for a date. <laughs> never. I get that. I get it. But I'm happy with my little scraps I get when trauma, because what the thing is, he got a DJ that sometimes he calls out mm-hmm. and I'm the fill in, but I'm not DJing unless I could do stand up. Right. I'm not going to just be the DJ. Right. If they tell me only DJ and I'm going to say, no, I need that. Mm-hmm. Mi- I need that stage time. Right. But I'm fine doing both. And I'm the only one that can do both. Right. That's true. I'm the only one in the world that so far that I know of that can do both. Mm-hmm. Now my life stays the same way. I don't know if you heard, but Ti is taking up DJing <laughs> also now. <laughs> so get ready, bro. Get ready. He's coming. He's two weeks in, and he yeah. wants to. <laughs> and Jaden Smith is nice on the turntables, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but so my life is good, right, <laughs> bro? I've had. I can't. I can't say I haven't had every. I, I wish I was bigger. Also, I want to be bigger to help more people, literally. But I wish I was bigger. But, yo, I've had, bro, I've had four TV shows. Right. Four TV opportunities. Right. None of them not blowing up was my fault. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was literally like, bro, I had a, a, a show on True TV that was doing very well. AT&T bought Time Warner. And the whole network. They got away. rid of everything. Yeah. So, like, that's not me. Can't I didn't flop. Right. I didn't flop. I had another show on Fuse. The shit that they said, "Hey, um, we're going, we're gonna file for bankruptcy, so we're gonna probably gonna have to stop shooting the show." Oh, okay. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay. You know I mean? Let me say this though. But being in those situations, right, is just another nibble. It's it's being you're in the room. It's another I'm nibble. Having... You will create something else. Of and, course. And you will. Doug, I'm getting ready to write a book. You got to write on, a book. On eating pussy. You got to write a book. Gotcha. Wait, just gotcha. on that? Yeah, well, that's the first book. <laughs> <laughs> the first book was all because I went on the radio and I started talking to, I was talk. some dude came at me on the radio talking, I don't know what I'm talking about, blah, blah, blah. And I was talking, we were talking about eating pussy. And then I started dropping gems, eat, eat, gems eating pussy tips. Right, mm-hmm. and, arch in the back, and then I was like, "Watch the breathing. You got to watch the diaphragm raise and lower. You got to watch mm-hmm. her breathing because a re- breathing is a is a is an indicator of the intensity of what you're doing." I go, "You gotta you uh, you gotta put your teeth on the pussy mound." There's a whole lot of shit I'm hitting them with, right? <laughs> and the, and the, they start the 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 lines is 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 full, right? I got a question. I got a question. Two and a half hours we doing. <laughs> still talking about eating pussy. Karen Hunter, my my sister from another life. Yeah. You need to write a book. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, well how do I? We. I'm gonna co. I'm gonna. I'm gonna produce your book. Yeah. How you gonna produce your book? Oh, you don't know I have. A deal with Simon and Schuster. Right, right, right. You don't know that I, 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 I co-wrote Corinne Stephenson's 
Corinne Stephens Superheads book? Mm-hmm. No, I did not. There we go. You got it. You got to just chug if you love the if you love the if you love the um the the process you got to love the process and if you love the process and you stay true and you just fix the things you be in the best version of yourself and you're fixing those little things that that you don't that you see that there's I mean just recognizing the fact that you're not taking these opportunities or that you're not maybe not as confident about it or you don't believe what your value is 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 you, you I mean you you got a great product you just got to spackle the cracks sand it but down that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you bro if you bro I was talking to my boy the other day if you if I listed all the shit I've done people would be like what the fuck I've done shit all in the open and behind the scenes and this one thing still bothers me yeah but dog this one thing, like I, I see guys just walk up to a girl and start talking. Yeah, but this, this, if you, if you buying them titties, I want it. <laughs> then buy I mean, them some you, titties. Well, no, you don't have to buy them titties. That's really a long game, Dante. That's not really helping. You gotta do a lot of things. My, but you know, my my point is, you keep, Doug. If you put it honestly, like if you put. If you decided that that really mattered and you put the same amount of effort into bettering yourself in that aspect that you do to the comedy and towards right. the music, Bro. you could do it. You could do Bro. it. But do you really give a fuck? You just kind of yeah. want it. No. It would be yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, of course. The of course. That's Bro, the, the fucking the, 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 the people that hated on me when I said I want to do comedy is like, I don't understand. Why are you hating? Why is there hate? Why did it, oh you're a DJ? Who? You can't was it do- comics or or DJs or what? Probably mostly both. comics. Both. both. And when I, like when I was in that transition period, it was both. You know what I mean? Yeah, but people always want to tell you what you can't do I, until I, I don't uh, until you do it. But that's I look anybody. At, I look at people who have done great shit and go, that person's no different than me. I could do I could do this. Right. And yeah. They look at it like done great shit. Nah, you do one thing and that's it. Son, you know how many people told me when I said I was when I was doing comedy, I had a chick tell me, but you're not funny. <laughs> I said, that's because I blow your back out every right. time I see you. Nothing it. funny All about you, how I not, take this serious I leave. <laughs> this was, it's just serious. Every time I fucked that chick, I was trying to kill her. I was really, I was trying to, I wanted her to die of multiple <laughs> orgasms. I was trying to murder her. The first death, the every first t- I wanted to kill her with orgasms. Is, no, you wanted to be on funny trial. About that. You wanted to be on trial, being questioned by the prosecution because you had she, killed I a woman via multiple I, I orgasms. Was, yes, Your Honor, you're right. But my, was, <laughs> I cannot they, tell a lie. I can't tell. They would be like, "This was it," but wasn't it intentional? Because we would be a murder. I go, "Well, then it'll have to be a murder charge." <laughs> but, yeah. but, my intention was to <laughs> kill that bitch. As soon as she said I wasn't funny. I tried to murder her every time I fucked her. And so for her <laughs> to see that it wasn't that I was funny, she was she called you know how many times she called me she didn't even call me a motherfucker. She said, "You motherfucker!" I'm. <laughs> that was her response because I was trying to murder her every time. He pleaded not guilty, just so there would be a trial. It would be a trial. Would <laughs> what I love is that the 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 prosecution said, "Listen, we'll make you a plea deal if you plead guilty to manslaughter by orgasms." No, nope. at least come on. Trial. Let me tell you. Here's a check. This podcast out. Me and Cipher, I admitted that I was trying to murder her every time I fucked her. I was trying to kill her. Via orgasm. Well, via orgasm. I don't know if that, I don't know if there's a sidebar. Maybe it's insanity. I don't know. But my intention was to try to murder that bitch. And she told me, but you're not even funny. That's what she told me. It's like, all right, I'm going to kill you with the dick. How about that? And I didn't. I didn't kill her. She's still living. Okay. So I'm a little sad about, I mean, you know, you got to take your wins and your loses. <laughs> you feel like you have unfinished business? I, I mean, a, there's still time. 
But now she's old, and I don't care anymore. Well, then it should, it should be a lot easier to, to kill her via orgasm. Yeah, but that's like smacking Chris. You know what I mean? It's easy. Yeah. That's easy to do. <laughs> Yo, let, what you got going on? You were plug something, and then we're going to go behind the Patreon. Man, right? honestly, um, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok, C-I- P H A cipher and then the word sounds. Um, I got, um, I got a podcast called Talk Clearlier with my friend Will Sylvan's comedy. <laughs> I got another podcast with my boy Peter Rosenberg called The Juan Ep Is Life, which is all hip hop history shit. And I got some TV stuff coming up real soon. I can't say it yet, but it's mm. coming soon. You're gonna love it. Mm. And thank you. You know, Harry, talk to me. Uh, all my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. Uh, find me on TikTok. That's where the new shit is going down. And uh, yeah, and also just that's what the kids. On, that's what the that's kids where the say. kids are at. That's where the kids are at. Man, that's that shit is not doing. just kids, bro. It's not actually. It's bro, actually TikTok everybody is at, does. Yeah, TikTok is does. fire, man. Yeah. Well, hold on. Now you change your tune because I remember talking to you at New York Comedy Club during the pandemic. You were like, "What's so good about TikTok?" I'm like, "Oh, no, I was good stuff." Oh, You're I very learned. Anti. I, you I, learned. Yeah. I learned the hard way where I am addicted. Oh, it's really? the best. TikTok Bro. is the best for real. And it's Bro. fun. There's some people doing interesting shit. There's people doing corny shit up there. Bro, but, but if you actually if you, if you really watch it and it starts figuring out your algorithm. Oh, it just sends that, you the stuff you want. There's no dancing kids on my TikTok. No. Mine None for a it. while. My girl was like, thank we God. We laid there out. was. It says a lot about you. <laughs> Yo, Syph, how come your TikTok is all five-year-olds doing splits, man? <laughs> What's this about? Bro, if you got a dog or any type of dog, oh, it's they, gone. And by the way, they won't send you cats. It's not like the algorithm goes, hey, you love dogs. You're an animal lover. They go, no, no this I person, hate animals. Only dogs. So no animals on Only mine. dogs. <laughs> Yo, uh, y'all can Google me, bitch. You know what it is. Dante Nero, everything. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, all of that. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all, man. Don't forget to sign up for the Patreon. It helps us keep doing this. Um, it's the way, best way to support us. If you want to support us and you like what we do, I hear people say all the time, "We love what you do. You saved my life, nigga." Give me a get a help me. Yeah, get a Patreon and Bro, subscription. And I'm telling y'all right now, I don't know. Maybe if one of my fans is listening for the first time, this is literally my favorite podcast. I listen Thank all the time, you, brother, oh, and they help you. It's, they talk a lot about girls and relationships and all that, but if you take all the advice and apply it to your life. It works miracles. I, I'm I'm wholeheartedly telling you that. Thank you, oh, family. Man. That's great. Thank to hear, you, man. family. I don't I don't have a suit, and I don't tell bitches to rate themselves and tell them they ain't shit, <laughs> and uh, I don't throw bitches out of the studio. <laughs> but you're just a humble little podcast. Yeah, I'm a humble little podcast talking my shit. You know what I mean? Uh, also, one-on-one -on -one consultations. DanteNever.com. Click on consult. Yo, I love y'all. We out. We gonna go to the Patreon. Talk about the real shit behind the scenes. Get yeah. at me. Bong. <laughs>